What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today, as you saw by that operator introduction, I have the VFC Scar H rifle. So this is VFC Scar H, this thing is beautiful. This is the shorter version, they do make a longer version too, and they also make a L version, which is a lighter mag. So the H basically means it shoots a 7.62 real seal round instead of a 5.56. NATO. So we're going to start from the front here. It'll come with some orange flash hider. I have replaced it with a beautiful scar suppressor, short little looking thing. And then also you're going to have your iron sights. The build quality of anything VFC is incredible. VFC has very high quality build stuff and it's just great. It's just a really solid, solid gun and it just really produces a high quality thing. So I'm going to turn my screen back real quick so I can show you guys specifically um, up close. Um, specifically with the XCMs. So these are Magpul XCMs. Like I said, I mean, just like, you're, you know, none of, it, none of the externals are going to come like the externals as far as that look added on like grips or XTMs. But this gun has a metal upper receiver and a polymer lower receiver. You can see there that kind of like the light reflects a little bit more off of um, it at certain areas. And then you've got the sick. Look at that. Listen to that. Oh, man. I'm not even like my favorite thing about the gun. I'm out of mags! Reload! Ooh! Oh! And then you have to hold it back a little bit because this is a little bit older. But look at this button. That's it. That just that just honestly like honestly sounds like a real weapon. That's one of my favorite features of this gun. Up here you have a complete monolithic upper rail system, and then you can see it's numbered each here and specifically. So this is 41, I believe that's 41 um, centimeters. I don't know exactly which measurement it is. The pla the polymer upper, you kind of are like, eh, or the polymer lower, you kind of like, eh, it's it's just, it just like I don't like a I want a full metal gun or whatever. But I assure you, this polymer lower is very high quality. Another really cool thing on this scar is how great you have the side rails. This is long enough for a side rail. The bottom rail is a little short if you want to run a bunch of stuff on your bottom rail. But uh, here is we just have a, a standard, uh, kind of like a magwell grip. It's a little farther out, but um, it's just a, it's a little short to the magwell or close to the magwell, which I eh, it's, I could care less about. Up here we have a UTG riser and an EOTech, so you can see just kind of like variation. Okay, I'm going to run a EOTech on top of my scar. This is what it will kind of look like. This is a smaller EOTech. I don't know if this is the 5.53 or the XPS. I think this is the 5.53 is what it's called. They have so many different models, I don't even know anymore. And then the Airsoft replica ones are not the greatest. The FC also has FN Herstal trademarks. So it'll say licensed by uh, Herstal, or FN Herstal. And it shows their sweet logo right there. And then it has some just some cool Scar H caliber 7.62 by 51. And then it says made in Taiwan by in the back with a serial number. So uh, that's a little less cool, but whatevs. One thing that's really cool on this one is a paracord sling loop. They have a paracord, they have a sling uh, mount plate right here on the back. And then uh, the, the owner of this gun ended up putting a paracord sling loop on here. And then that's, I just thought that's really cool. And then uh, kind of melded it so that it would stay specifically on the thing. One of my only complaints about this gun is the fact that when you move this stock, it is a retractable stock, which is great. The wires are, are kind of in this little hinge system. So because the, the back has, the, the wire is the wiring and the battery is all in here, sometimes that's bad and then VFC doesn't have the greatest wires in general. You got a front flip up sight up here on that little gas block, and then you have a, bat, a rear flip beside right there. Of course, adjustable for windage and elevation. Front one flip folds down forward, and the back one flips down backwards. You can also take the back one off if you want to, if you so desire, if it's your heart content. It has an adjustable cheek riser, moves a little bit. You can see there's a full position. There's a little short. I like it. I think it's I think it's a little comfort more comfortable, especially with this uh, higher a higher sight. Just to be able to get up over your mat if you have like a, a lower face mask like I run. Also has a six position adjustable stock. If you want to pull it back to six different positions, then it has a button on this other side where you adjust it and stuff. Magazine release is also ambidextrous, which I think is really cool. This is one of the cool other cool really cool features of this gun. If you want to um, use a, store, a standard, if you're uh, right-handed shooter like myself, or if you're a left-handed shooter, um, you can release and it's amateurist, which I think is really cool. Also has a safe semi, which just shows one, and then A, which is auto. I think this is really interesting. It's like S1A instead of has the, uh, like the, if you want to have, um, the sometimes guns have the bullets and stuff. Uh, the selector switch I think is really good. It's a little, it, it's got a nice click in a spot, but it's a little loose for my taste. 
One thing that is unfortunate with these guns is you can't have the Magpul MOE grips. You have to get grips that don't have a back to them, which I think is uh, kind of unfortunate. Internally, this gun is great. The VFC pistons are a little bit shaky. They don't. They have a polycarbonate rack, so that's not the greatest thing. Their gear, gears are fantastic. Their wiring is a little sketchy, uh, but overall, VFC produces an incredible high-quality gearbox, and they make a really high-quality gun. I think VFC might have the best externals and they definitely have the scar market beat for sure the echo one scar is crap uh, a little yeah it's pretty crap and then the d-boy scar is even crappier than that but if you want a scar i would definitely go vfc it's going to be a little bit more but honestly it's worth it the scar the echo one scars i think are like 300 and these are like 400 and it's just that blow the dsc blows us the echo one out of the water i know you can hear like my mags that's because uh, we're about to go play on wednesday and it's going to be great Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac One and in the review of the VFC Scar H. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Operators out.